Hi, here is a presentation on lambda expressions in Java 8. Lambda expressions is a mechanism in Java 8 that helps you remove a lot of boilerplate code. We can achieve more succinct code using lambda expressions. Let's learn this with a simple example. Let me create a class. Let's start with an interface. Interface greeting with a method say hello and you pass a name to this. Right. We create a class called uh, a reading example domain method. Like static void main. We save this as reading example dot Java. Okay. What I'm going to do is write a method. Let me create another static method. Say read and this static method is going to take in an instance of reading a name over here I'm going to say greeting instance dot say hello pass the name now to this greet method I need to pass an instance of this greeting interface so the older approach will be to create an anonymous inner class so uh, what we do is we create a instance let's say new greeting let's implement this say hello method string name and let's have a println say hello name Now what I'll do is I'll call this method greet by passing this greeting instance and an argument, okay, a name, Sam. I've created an instance of greeting, it's an anonymous inner class, and pass this instance to this greet method. Let's run this code, okay, let's compile this, say so Java C greeting example.java uh -huh. let's run this reading example hello Sam now as you can see there's a lot of boilerplate code okay I don't want to be writing creating anonymous inner classes and implementing all this method it's, it's a lot of work so I'm just going to comment this I'm going to replace this code using lambda expressions right. what I'll do is I'm going to create an instance of greeting and here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say name aroma. I'm going to say system dot out dot println. Let me use hi. Okay, let's get rid of this. Okay, I've created a greeting instance now using lambda expressions. The first part, the left hand part, okay, you can split it into two parts, okay, so uh, you have an arrow mark, okay, and uh, the left hand side gives you the arguments you want, okay, it can be any name, and the right hand side is the implementation. Now let's pass this instance as an argument to greet method, let's pass a name, let's say Joe. We run this, compile this. Uh huh. We want to make it simple. Simple, what you can do is we call greet method. I would say, let's say n system.out.println n say hi n pass a name, which I can. Even better. It's a 
Buy this. Run this. Hi Joe. Hi Kim. So one of the things that you notice here is Lambda Expressions helps you write very simple code, very less code. Okay, it helps you remove all the anonymous inner classes that you will otherwise be creating. All right, here is what we did so far. We created an interface with one single abstract method. We created an instance of it using the lambda expression. A lambda expression consists of the arguments followed by the lambda operator. I have been referring to arrow mark so far and the implementation. The lambda expressions are evaluated to objects of a type known as functional interface. We learn more about it in the next part.